Hey guys, so this video is a little different than the last two that we've had in the group. Um, we are, well I am going to be showing you how we add to our network and build our network as coaches as a way to build our teams and um, be more successful and help more people um, and all that stuff because I know some people were worried about not being able to have enough people um, to find enough people to work. Um, to have a, a business and stuff like that. So I wanted to kind of show you guys the behind the scenes type stuff. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you guys some of the things that we do as coaches. Okay, so as a brand new coach, some of the things that I'm not gonna show you is that you know, you've seen in that welcome email that we have you create a list of 100 people, right? Um, and on that list, um, one of the things that we have you guys do is go out and start connecting with those people on your list. For instance, say that, we're going to my news feed, it's mostly coaches, <laughs> but say that, um, let's see. So this is a girl that is in a, um, a mommy's group with me. So say that I'm looking through, and this is a girl who is on my list of 100 people, and I look through her page, and I haven't really talked to her or seen her in a while, I'll say that we went to high school together. And um, I look through and I see that, let's see if she'll have something up about her pregnancy. Okay. So see this picture that she talks about having a lot of pictures about her bump and her photos So she'd do one of her face. I would message her Okay, and you want to do two or three people per day and I would message her and just say hey Jenny um, And her and I've talked before but you know hey Jenny um, I saw that you are having a baby or that you're expecting. I'm so excited for you When are you due? you know something like that or say that they um, just got a puppy you can message them and say, hey, I saw that you have a puppy and I'm so, like, it's so cute. What kind of dog is it? You know, or maybe something not so happy has happened, you know, and it's someone that you used to be really close to. Maybe their father is ill or their grandma just died or something like that. And you can message them and say, hey, you know, um, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about your grandma. Is there anything that I can do to help? You know, just being a real person and just connecting with that person. Okay. And you're probably like, so how does that tie into my beach body business? Okay. So we care about people. Okay. Like it's not like one of those companies where we just go straight in for the sale. We go through actually finding out if what we have to offer is good for that person okay so we have the thing called forming and that's where you go through and you talk to people about their family about their occupation about their recreation and then their your message okay that's that form um, and your message is by going through messaging back and forth with that person you're seeing if you have a program that could maybe help them maybe they have a wedding coming up and they need to lose weight fast or um, they're having some digestion problems and you're like you know what I really Really think Shakeology could help you with that or you know whatever it is maybe they just lost their job or they hate their job and you can be like oh, I don't know if you'd ever be interested but you could try out this coaching thing okay so that's your message um, you don't go right into that when you're talking to people on that list you're building that relationship Okay, so that's the first thing as brand new coaches is that we're connecting with people that we know and we're also sharing on our pages um, what we have to offer. Okay, so I'm going to look up Rachel, who's one of our, um, one of my brand new Rockstar coaches and, you know, she's talking about her puppy here. Okay, hopefully Rachel doesn't mind me doing this. Um, and then she's talking about insanity here, so her results and then, you know, talking about, um, something about her beach body joining her team and then just a motivational post and then something about insanity. So, you know, she's posting different things throughout the day um, or throughout the week about her business, but not shoving it in people's faces. Okay. So as a coach, when you first sign up, um, we tell you just because you're a beach body coach doesn't mean that you lose everything about yourself. Okay. For instance, and I haven't been posting very much lately, so I'm maybe not the best example, but for me, you know, I posted something about our team and then a, a bump picture. <laughs> and then I had posted something about our team again. And then I posted something. These are other people tagging me. Um, the glucose test that I had to take yesterday that sucked. Um, and you know, just kind of sharing different things throughout the day, um, about me. That's not always focused on just the business. Okay. So your page doesn't have to be just solely beach body stuff. These are 
coach is tagging me. But, um, you know, it can be other things that you are sharing about yourself. We say connect with like five or 10 different hobbies. Okay. And, and write about those things on your page. Um, and you kind of weave in the fitness stuff. All right. So the other ways that we have branched out to, to build our network, the first thing is on Facebook. Okay. So you can either go on here and type in friends of friends that live in, and I'm going to put Sylvania, oh, Sylvania, Ohio, because it's where I live. Sylvania, Ohio. Okay. So you can put in that live in Cleveland, Ohio, or that live in San Diego, California, or wherever you're from. And this goes through and it shows you your top friends in common, okay? Um, and then it shows you, if you click on the people, it shows you a ton of people, okay? And maybe some of these people you know through, like, other people, um, and you're like, okay, so I see that we have 21 mutual friends, you know, the Stephanie... Um, I can't see the whole name, but you know, we have 21 mutual friends. So what I would do is message her and I'm not going to send the message right now, but I would say, Hey, Stephanie, um, I hope you don't mind me adding you as a friend. I noticed that we have a lot of mutual friends in common and you know, I'm looking for more people who are around the Sylvania, Ohio area, or, you know, like that. Um, or if you see that a lot of the friends that you have in common and maybe you look at the person's page and you say, you know, you're looking through and you notice that they have children or something. Okay, I don't know if she's going to have children, but let's see. Well, she might be pregnant, so I might be messaging this girl later. Um, but say that she has, you know, something else. Okay, so she has children, you know. And so you're connecting with that person and saying, hey, I'm looking for more people. You already know they are in the oh, um Sylvania, Ohio area. So more moms around the Sylvania area. I'm about to be a mom. You know, I'm talking about myself and I'm looking for more moms to connect with. Okay. Something very simple, something real. Okay. So that's one way. Um, coaches go on there and they add two or three people per day. Um, if you're someone who's like, I don't want to be connected with anyone that I know from my, my past, you know, I don't want to be like connected with any of those people. There's other avenues, okay? There's Pinterest, okay? So say that you have, um, you're thinking about wanting to help people with fitness and nutrition, obviously, because you're a coach, and you type in here, you know, fitness motivation, okay? And you search on Pinterest. We all love Pinterest, right? It's full of stuff. And you see these cute tank tops, okay? cute tank, tank tops that I totally want these. Um, and you click on the picture. Now this is where you're going to follow me. Okay. You click and you look at the pin it, like where the number of the pins. So it's been shared like 16,000 times. And you look through these people who have been pinning it. Okay. And say that we want to connect with, I'm going to grab a couple of them. Um, so she says it's her style. She says it's workouts exercise and style, dream closet, you know, stuff like that. You would go through and you would click on their board. So say we went to dream closet. Okay. And you click on that person's picture. She looks normal. And, oh, she's not linked to Facebook though. So we'll see if this next person is. So say that we click on Trisha. There we go. Okay. So I look through and I see, okay, she likes makeup and hair and outfits and um, tattoos and workouts and, and stuff like that. Dorms, she might be a little younger than me. So, you know, that might be a red flag for me where I'm like, okay, maybe I won't message her, but I say that that dorm thing isn't there. <laughs> okay. So I would message her. Um, and if you look, so it says Trisha Brown and you look, click on that Facebook thing, you highlight it and it connects you straight to her Facebook, okay? So for me, I'm not really into avatars. This would be something that was kind of like a red flag for me, like, oh, we probably wouldn't get along very well, um, so I wouldn't message her, but say that that's not there. <laughs> and what you would do is message her and just say, you know, hey, Trisha, I know this is completely random, but I saw your da-da-da-da board, you know, whatever her board name was, um, on Pinterest, and I'm looking for more people who are into fitness and nutrition to connect with to hold myself accountable. Um, I hope you don't mind me messaging you, you know, something like that. And then the thing that we have coaches do is click the See More button 
and then the one dollar so it goes into their main inbox okay and most coaches do that like maybe three or four people a day um, instead of just doing the Facebook thing that I said before just to grab some new people into their network okay there's other ways that you can do it um, we run Facebook ads onto our page um, if you have a like page so mine's Meg Wazinski this is another way to build people and, and, and grow your network by connecting with people that don't know you. And I've been building this for years, guys. So when you first start out, maybe a couple hundred, and then you keep building it and building it, okay. Um, but all of these people on here are people that I can connect with. You know, I can you know say that I've never talked to Kelly. Um, I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> and say that you connect with her and just message her and say, you know what, thank you so much for your comment on my page. You know, and stuff like that. So we have so many different avenues to really grow our network and to branch out and meet new people. Instagram, unfortunately, I can't show it on a computer, but Instagram's huge too. Look at my my account, Meg Wazinski, and you'll see that a lot of the stuff I'm sharing is different from what I'm sharing on Facebook. Um, and I have a huge network um, of pregnant women on there because that's my niche and that's who I'm connecting with. But that's a huge avenue for people on Instagram because everyone has their phone with them all the time, right? So you're probably thinking, all right, I have Facebook, I have Instagram. Um, the only thing that would hold you back from really making this business grow and work is you, you know? And I, it took me a long time to get to that point to realize that. Like I thought like, oh, there must be something that so-and-so has that I don't have. And that's not the truth <laughs> because the things that make a coach successful are talking to new people every single day, sharing what is working for you, working on yourself, okay, through exercise and eating healthy and personal development, okay, and just helping people. That's it. There is no like magic formula or anything. If there was, I would tell you and I would spill the beans and whatever. But those are the things that you do as a coach, okay? So whatever fear is holding you back and thinking, oh, I probably couldn't do this, get it out of your head because you can most definitely do it if it's something that you want, okay? If you see that coaching could give you the kind of life where you're home with your children or you're paying off your debt where you're getting more accountable to your own health and fitness goals. You know, I went in for a very selfish reason when I first signed up because I was like, I need to be around these people because I got 30 pounds to lose and I need help, you know, and, and I like these people because they're really positive and they make me feel good and I'm going to be selfish and I'm going to sign up as a coach so that I can be held accountable. And then six years later, it's something that has created an amazing life for um, my husband and I and our puppy and our future baby, you know, and, and coaches are doing it left and right um, so it's all about what you want to put into it so I hope this helps you guys kind of realize that there is nothing crazy about coaching um, if you want to do it then we would love to have you on the team and we would show you more ways to be able to grow your network and stuff like that and I think that that's pretty much everything I wanted to make sure um, <laughs> that I connected with you guys. Oh, and with talking, you know, say that you're talking to people about coaching or talking to people about challenge groups and stuff like that. If I'm your upline, I'm going to help you respond back to those people. I'm going to help you until you feel comfortable to do it on your own. Um, and whoever your coach is, they invited you into this group, they're going to help you that way too. Because what works for us is going to work for you. Okay. So you never have to sign up and think, oh shoot, I'm by myself. You're going to have us. Okay. So I hope that this helps take away a couple fears. I'm sorry this video is a little late and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.